Hey, we're live. Hey, good morning. Hey, it's 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum. It's about 7.35 a.m. This is our 502nd second, second episode of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I think it's, is it early Wednesday? It really is Wednesday. We're through halfway through the week already. How will time fly? Anyway, I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, Agile Coach, and... Here in the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way. Talk about bringing value to the customer, doing it all without working 50, 60, 80 hours a week, and get home to your family and friends so we can have fun at work. And I can hear the dog howling. <laughs> Betty Dog is over there. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Kids are in school. They're off on lease on the bus. Things are going. Um, had success last night, completed my uh, initial Kanban class, which was good. It was good hearing, seeing it, and, and getting the information from the experts on how things are really supposed to do. But I'm going to save that for a couple episodes later um, and talk about that. One of the things, you know, I got stuff on my book, what I might want to talk about. Got a couple blank spaces, what's going on in my new calendar. And one of the things I do is I like to leave openings for change. Some things I write, some things I write one thing and then leave a uh, opening for a second topic, depending on what goes on. And that's kind of what happened like last night. Something was good. So I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about getting the fire underneath you burning for your, to get your goals and then visualizing those goals and what you need to do, because I need to do the same thing. So what I'm sharing with you is something I am doing and all things like that. So I watched a video a couple days ago. Boy, I do a lot of video watching on my <laughs> transition time, don't I? Um, so, you know, getting a knockdown and coming back, right? And fire, burn that fire, right? And I was watching the Eagles. If you're not an Eagles fan, I'm sorry. Eagles football, American football. Um, and they lost their fire. You know, I'm listening to them. Oh, it's okay. I don't hold anybody grudge. I said, you're supposed to be champions, right? You're supposed to be wanting the best. And there is nothing in them right now that shows that the hunger is what is not there. So I was just watching that. I was commenting even before I saw any of these videos. Like, man, like a couple guys, like really great Great guys, great people, nicest people. I would love to hang out with them and just drink a beer or drink coffee, whatever, uh, work out. Do, you know, they're just good guys, but they just lost that energy. And it looks like they got drained from it. And then um, I was watching Value Entertainment. And in there, it's a good program. He has stuff goes on, talks about sales and entertainment. He's a big sales guy, goal-oriented, has a lot of followers. He was talking about a, a, a player's dad. The opposite team was commenting and tweeted out, and I retweeted that out too. Maybe I'll share that on LinkedIn today because I didn't want to give everything up before I did the show about this player who lost the championship. And he's standing there in the end zone watching the other team get the trophy, just burning that goal. Says, That should be me. I need to work my ass off. I didn't work hard enough to get that goal. I got to visualize visualize the first comment one of the things we're going to talk about today me up there on stage next year and the father of the other players the the guy he's comments um oh god he's going to come back next year like a vengeance you watch this guy because he is dedicated and has visualized him getting there at least i hope so when just crying but all the other players are gone, so they're all crying. But he's standing there looking at it. So I think that was true about what that guy said. And I do thank that father for sharing that. I think it was Milton, Mr. Milton. So got that. So what's funny, all this talk about drive and, and passion and, and goal setting that's out there. Well, got me rethinking two things. I'm going to give you two stories mentoring stories of what I've had and I take my glasses off to read these because I wrote some notes down so I was rethinking a, a conversation I had with my boss the other day before I left and did I do the one there's actually two 
Okay, let's do my let's do my boss first, and then we're gonna do this job interview I had, um, and it was a protect potential job that I was looking at getting as a, a high level influencer of stuff. So it's interesting how that goes. So we'll, here's here's what we got. So uh, my boss and I were talking my last day before I left, and he left open the door for allowing me back for. Um, if funding and and HR rules are fine, so it was great. I mean, it was good. I don't have nothing against. I it, business is business. I told them things that I see in the organization that they need to change, and it's been the same things I've been saying for the past two years. So we'll see what this happens. I doubt it'll change. Um, so we chatted. We ended up talking about him bringing me back to talk about certain topics because he knows I talk. I do speeches. I do public speaking. I encourage teams. I talk about agile ideas and thigh mindset, scrum, safe, not going to do combine. I can talk about that. Maybe I will. Um, cause I, cause it validates what I do and it, it's helpful. Um, to share with his team's topics. Right. And I said, maybe next year, like 2022 when I'm famous. Okay. So this is what I said. I said in 2022, when I'm famous, write a book, do a lot more public speaking, get really engaged over the next year. Um, he laughed a little. So he gave a little giggle. And I wasn't sure if he was laughing because I said about me being famous within by 2022 or that I was leaving and he was going to lose me helping his group. And when your business it is what it is. It's big corporate. It just runs sometimes. Yeah, I know I'm look, got a good value thing, but we'll survive. Corporate survives. I te teach all my mentees, all my coaches that corporate will survive and, and, and they make their call. But then it also remind me of a job interview that I had um, where the executive wanted someone with more known rep. You know, and it's funny. I use that as motivation. People don't know what I, I did. So I went, you know, I'm like, okay, I need the rep. I need to get ready for my expert agile certification. I got a lot of things I need to do. So I created this channel, created sharing information, um, ended up doing um, worldwide speaking engagements, doing all that all last best. It was about two years. It took about two years to get to where I wanted to be because it was started halfway into it. It wasn't. Um, a full two years. And then I really went and did the show, got 13 million views, got 10,000 connections under LinkedIn, and I'm still going to blow it up. That's not enough. And uh, my visual, my burn is I want to be, I'm going to make it, I want to grow as an agile coach. I want to contribute to the society. I want to help everyone do better at agile, right? That's my goal to get there, to get more people to hear it. I'm going to put it out there. We're going to blow it up this year. So my goal, my fire is to blow it up this year and make it crazy. So hopefully you all listen to me and, and, and pay and give me ideas on how to make it crazy. I really would like, would like your opinion on making it crazy and blowing it up. Um, growing up the number of connections. Growing up, remember, um, I want to blow up 13 million. I'd like to get 13 million views on Scrum and Agile alone, not just Coca-Cola Mentos experiments, because I saw that on a uh, Gary V thing the other day. So it's good. So now, so I talked about that part. How much time we got left? I always keep an eye on We got nine minutes. We're at the nine minute mark. So burn it up, because sometimes people just got to, egg you on like i had that 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 football player had the vision the 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 fire burning because he says i'm going to be the one on the stage next year me my boss that one interview job says well you're not famous you're not famous enough you're not known enough I'm like i'm going to get known and we're going to do this you know and i still remember some a couple couple of my listeners at the pmp pmi conference Walking them up to me and going, hey, 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum. That's what we're going to get. We're going to do that when we go back to visual. People are going to recognize that, and we're going to do that. They're going to have a little sign. We're going to make T-shirts. We're going we're gonna to do things crazy. 
Um, and I'm going to grow as a, as, a, as a student of Agile, right? I don't know everything I never did. I never will, but I'll keep learning, right? So we're going to learn. We're going to grow. We're going to blow it up. We're going to share that information, get feedback from everybody. We're going to see what we can do with this, uh, with this thing. I don't know. It's why not? It's just, what are we going to lose? I'm 52. I can, <laughs> I'm going to have fun. Um, and I got great kids in the family, so I'm good. I got two dogs that I just adopted howling over in the background. So, so that's the, that's the, the drive to be there to show everybody that I could do it. I know I can do it and I'm going to do it. Um, and we're going to see what happens. We'll do it my way though. We're not going to do it some other ways where we lose life and not have to hang out with family anymore that we're not doing that part. I'm hanging with family, but we're going to succeed. So we're going to get that. Now, the next thing is funny. Like I said, I always leave a spot. I stumbled onto a LinkedIn live feed last night. They were talking about some famous people and how they got uh, famous and their goals. And one of the things that stuck to me before I, I fell asleep when they were doing it was um, visualization. Your visual board. What's your goals? How are you going to get there? And what was missing and what I saw missing in last year's board for myself was what are the steps that I need to visualize to get to that goal? Whatever they are, they may be right or wrong, but the things I need to do to get there. And one of the things we miss on Agile, Safe, Scrum, Kanban, whatever, we talk about a lot, but we don't do the visualization of the road to get there. So we need to visualize that path. What kind of minor achievements? What kind of things can we get done? How do we reflect on it? How do we pivot? How do we change? Because I'm going to tell you right now, in six months, things are going to change. I know it. I can make all the plans I want. Hey, there's Haywood. Hey, how are you doing? Yep. So I know things are going to change in six months, right? So I can put these visual goals up with the knowledge that things are going to come up, opportunities are going to arise that I want to be able to pivot, take advantage to get me to my goal. But I want to visualize my goal, right? And those other things are still there, probably going to be there, but there may be some opportunities to switch. So two things in this show. Get the fire that's going to burn inside you to drive you to where you want to be. So that you're happy. So you got a mission. No matter what anybody says, there's going to be people popping at you, coming at you, undercutting you, doing everything on your mission. Because you want to have a visual where you want to head to, right? You want to visualize that. So no matter how many people try to undercut you, you still know where you're going. You're still striving for it. You stop, you go. Maybe maybe because you're old like me and your body's falling apart. And that hits you sometimes last year. But you know what? Maybe that's part of my goal right? To get to that point. And the other one's visualizing the road, visualizing you being there, visualizing what you need to do to achieve that goal. Some major features, major epics, whatever you want to call them, that your goal is to do this. My goal is to, you know, blow up the internet, right? With Scrum and Agile and be everywhere and be there and do that. How do I do that? There'll be ways out there. How do I lay out the groundwork to get there, the framework to achieve that? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't share everything. Um, but anyway, but have those two things. Get the fire in you, something that motivates you to do what you want to do and how you want to do it. That way, when people try to do it, you're still, you're still solid. And two, visualize that path. You got to visualize that. Those two things you need to succeed. Um, part of my visualization is be happy with my family. So I'm not traveling around the world. I might travel, but I'll take them with me. Maybe COVID will be over. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, so these two things I want to share with you today. It's a new year. Goals. They develop as they go. I'm not worried about having every freaking little goal written down on a piece of paper and plan it to that goal. Give some good things, some solid things that I'm going to write down and do myself and prepare. 
And I wish you all good luck on your goals, your visualization. Hopefully your fire isn't because you just lost the championship. Just fire because you're passionate about something. Okay. And you want to have fun and enjoy it. Because when you're passionate, you enjoy what you do. That's the end of our show. 15 minutes up. Daily Scrum's over. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the show. And ring the little bell. So that we know what we're doing next. All right. Take care, all. And happy scrumming. Wish you the best. Bye.